Youth Baseball Alert! Hitting fix for Bat Drag. Hey, what's going on? It's Joy Myers from the Henny Performance Lab, and in this video, we're going to go over one of the worst youth baseball and softball swing offenders to deflating bat speed. Wait for it. Bat drag. We're going to go over three different things. The first thing is what is it? Secondly, we're going to go over the science of bat drag when it comes to hitting an unknown moving pitch. And number three, we're going to go over how to fix bat drag. But first, what is it? So what is bat drag? Here's one of my high school hitters, Charles Sarazua, and this is a before and an after. What we're looking for is that front arm to bar out or to straighten out, and what you're seeing here on the left. And what you're gonna notice is actually his turning speed is so much faster on the right, he's getting that barrel on pitch plane a lot sooner. Now, there's a video by Perry Husband that he did I'm going to post it as a link on this YouTube video where he talks about in a home run derby competition that the players that barred the arm out earliest were the ones that hit it the farthest. Well here's the problem and we're going to go over why it's a problem because it's a difference in hitting an unknown moving pitch in a game versus in batting practice where we're seeing a pitch that we know basically where it is, what it is, and how fast it's coming. So let's take a look at the science of bat drag. Hitting a ball during a game is a little bit different than hitting one during batting practice or off a tee or even hitting a golf ball. Here's Victor Martinez here, and there we have to use or juggle two factors of the conservation of angular momentum. There's two things. One is turning speed. The other is the moment of inertia or increasing force. They have an inverse relationship, so when one's up, the other's down and vice versa. So we have to increase turning speed in the beginning so we can't have a straight arm. We have to have a slight bend in it in order to get that barrel on plane as soon as possible. Then, once we get that barrel as it approaches pitch plane, then we can start to extend the front arm out, use it as a lever, and then to and through contact, we can extend the back arm to increase Victor Martinez's moment of inertia or force through impact. This is where we're going to hit the ball the farthest, but we need a combination of the two. So now, let's take a look at how to fix bat drag. Here's Josh Donaldson of the A's hitting a game-winning homer. Now when we talk about fixing bat drag, I automatically go to the catapult loading system. Now there's three things with this. Hitter wants to make sure that they're showing their numbers for as long as possible or blocking the shoulders from opening even though the lower half is opening. The next thing is hiding the hands. You can see Donaldson's going to be hiding his hands here from the pitcher. The other thing is a down, a slight down shoulder angle. You can see here with the elbow and the shoulder coming down. Now the fourth thing, and I just started adding in with my hitters, has to do with Homer Kelly's a golfing machine, a, a the accumulator number one. Let's go into that while looking at Andrew McCutcheon. What you're going to see here in Andrew McCutcheon is you're going to see his top hand is fighting to get extended, or it's going to fight to get this front arm extended. He actually loses the battle. His front arm loses the battle. He'll get to a full extension with the front arm, so he actually bars out on this. But what we're trying to do is this top hand is trying to pull back, up and back, while this bottom arm is trying to resist getting extended. So what's happening is this arm down here is pulling this way. This arm up here, your back arm, is pulling back. So you're getting almost like the hitter's feeling like they're breaking the handle in half. Both hands trying to break the handle in half. This creates an inner arm tension that will help to load and be complementary to the catapult loading system. So I hope you learned a lot in this video. Make sure that we're swinging smarter by moving better.